this video has a detailed look at the Mark 1 Futuristic Vision Club MRL. Da -da. Which has been modernised, which means it no longer makes that noise! Oh, you can't have a futuristic Vision Club that doesn't make that noise! Oh dear! Anyway, I know why this looks the way. I still don't like it. The Futuristic Vision Club was such an awesome lift. I know it was unreliable and for some bits it didn't make much sense, but it was different, it was interesting or something. I made a change from the usual sort of lift. It's like different and now it's been more guys now a bit box down. Ah oh dear. Anyway, where shall I start this video? Let's start off with the history of Vision Club. Vision Club started off as Vision before a motion club and they started making lifts in the UK in the 80s. They might have made lifts earlier than this in other parts of the world, but I don't know about this. In the 80s, Vision was a very nice lift. It was very well built and it was actually a bit Spooky, had quite a spooky charm to it. This got superseded by the 90s version, which was very similar, but with some of the spooky features toned down and it was a bit more clean and not so nice. And at the same time as this, they also did the really posh like this, which was an extremely nice to do it. Really fast, very well designed, very nice lift. And later on, towards the late 90s, this made their first MRL. And I don't actually know that much about these MRLs because there's not actually that many about in England, but there's quite a lot of them about in other parts of Europe. These were then superseded by the futuristic Vision Club Mark 1 MRL. And these are just so awesome. They added so many odd and futuristic features to it. I really tried to make this mod, but it just looked very, very futuristic, very different to any other sort of lift. But sadly, they're a bit unreliable, which is disappointing. This got superseded by the Mach 2 Futuristic Vision Cup MRL, which is also known as the less futuristic Vision Cup because they toned down a lot of their futuristic features and made it a bit more boring. At the same time as these futuristic MRLs were being produced, they also produced the non futuristic version of their MRL. Which you don't get much in England, but you do get it quite a lot in France. And these actually turned out to be a lot more reliable, because they're pretty much like a more sort of normal sort of lift. But hey, it's not as fun as the futuristic version, is it? Then all of these MRLs have now been superseded by this and Club's modern day MRL, and it's yet to be known how reliable these are. Also, at the same time as all of these MRLs, this and Club are also making a mid and high rise lift, which are very modernist, very reliable, but a bit plain looking. And also, as well as this, they make a twin lift, which is very, very advantage. But in this video, we are talking about the futuristic Vision Club Mark 1 MRL. And this particular one used to have keypad select buttons. So there are these new buttons to the floor. It has more to nine buttons, a nine to button, and a star button. In this sort of keypad design, you actually enter in which floor you want to go to. Despite the fact these lifts very rarely went beyond floor nine. So the whole thing was a bit stupid, but hey, it was really fun. As well as this, these lifts have a screen on some of these lifts. There'd be other features which you could get access to on the keypad. You could unlock certain menus on the screen. Very awesome. So since this has been modernised, now has two has Buttons. It's a bit boring. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how much of the logic's been replaced. It's fine to have a lot of the logic's actually still very much the same as how it ran. I'm not sure if they just like put the existing buttons into existing logic or if they've bodged it a bit or it's got new logic. I really don't know. But anyway, let's start this video off by taking a ride in this lift. Going up. Please mind the doors. Doors closing. Going up. So then, it's lift surfing time. Let's go surf this lift. So then, this is what it looks like on top of a lift. Really nice. I've been wanting to surf one of these for a very long time. And there's two to one cabling, but a two to one pulley wheels on top of the lift. When you've got MRLs so underneath, which is interesting. So then, let's now make this lift move. And I won't be able to get a full speed ride by someone else calling if I'm on top of it because this is late at night, as I was hoping to open up a logic cabinet. So that's disappointing. Looks like I'm not going to get a full speed ride.
And now, looking over here, here is the rescue flap. Let's open it up. Now it's this switch thing, you have to move to open it. This actually breaks the safety, so the lift can't move while the flap's open. And if we open up this flap, can we see into the lift? No, we can't, because the lighting is in the way. What idiot designed this? And here is the motor. Wow, just look at that. Now it's actually quite a different design of motor to a lot of other MRLs. Because a lot of them have these very sort of small motors like a Gen 2 and the Schindler. Or alternatively, each of this has like a flat motor down the side of the shop. Now this is very different. This actually looks like a more sort of a normal sort of lift motor. And it's just weird that it's got this little beam hanging off the main beam at the top. That is an odd design. That's not really the most optimum design that I thought an MRL would have. Because usually the motor's like attached to the main beam at the top. And that this one, because this is actually more like an MR design of motor rather than MRL since the motor's sitting on the beam rather than suspended from the beam and so it's actually got a beam that the motor sits on which is like attached up to a main beam that's quite a bit of metal work I would say that's the most logical design it seems like odd has actually been supported in this way doesn't look like that much metal work it's a bit flimsy quite odd if we look around the other side of the motor is it meant to have a bit of wiring exposed like that or is the front cover missing on this motor or is the genetic cover done something to it that doesn't look right now, it's just weird as it so then if you look around at the top of the lift up here it's got a few interesting things to see these boxes, they're all being see kinetic resistors for it to dissipate the energy when it goes in kinetic mode. Lots of interesting stuff. Quite old look at these MRLs, because some of them are like really compact and not much to them. But other ones have loads of this equipment all dotted about at the top of the lift shaft. Sadly though, I can't see any instruction manuals anywhere. That's one of the best bits about something is MRLs, is look at the instruction manual. Oh well. Now we come on to opening up the logic cabinet and it looks like it opens up with triangle key. But what's this in the middle? They've added another lock. Why is the genetic lift cup they've done this? I don't know why so many lift companies like to secure the logic cabinet now. It's because the firemen need to get into this to put a lift into manual rescue. And I don't get this. The whole point of these logic cabinets is they're meant to just be close of triangle key. Oh well, looks like I might be able to get into this logic cabinet. Very, very disappointing. I was really hoping to say, it's logic cabinet. Time. But I can't, because I can't get into the logic cabinet. Bugger! 